Hey, this is Prometheus, guys. Give you more of the meta. So, guys, I want to go ahead and show you some gameplay uh, regs. I'm using the Texans. My opponent's using the Buffalo Bills. And I want to just kind of share with you that, you know, even when you're down, you make boneheaded plays where you, uh, you throw interceptions, you get your opponent back into a game, or basically in a situation where you're down by a couple scores, you can get the mental shift for yourself if you play, if you still play smart defense um, and, and adjust uh, accordingly to your opponent. I'm going to say this guy's pretty good. He, he made a couple bad choices. He did challenge my user a couple times, uh, and I was able to go to get interceptions from him. Uh, but it was a situation where this came down to the last couple seconds and me actually having to go for a two-point conversion uh, to get an opportunity to win the game. So... Um, I'm actually using the Texas Titans uh, playbook. Uh, I like it because it's got the 34, it's got the 40, uh, 41, uh, 41, 61 defense. It's also got nickel. Uh, it's got you know a two three. It's got the penny defense and stuff like that. So uh, usually when I start off the game, I don't really know what my opponent's doing. I like to do come out to nickel defense just because it's like my base defense I use a lot. And cover six essentially is going to be my base defense because I've got cover nine in my audibles, you know, uh, basically palms and, and uh, a blitzing and all that kind of stuff. And I just want to kind of get a feel for what my opponent wants to do. So uh, right here, um, I'm actually trying to set things up. Um, and typically what I like to do is I like to go ahead and what I've got three wide receivers on this side and I've got a single wide receiver and then a halfback in the backfield. I, I like to have my box situation. I like to have my box um, on the three wide receiver side. So I'd have a, a flat. I've got my quarters and then I've got my three rock hook right here. Uh, that would be usually how I have set it up. And I think I was actually trying to flip the defense and um, he caught me. You can see how I, I jumped right here. He quick snapped the ball. Um, I didn't shift my line over. I just I just didn't make my adjustments quickly uh, quickly enough. This is the first game I played uh, in basically a few different weeks. Uh, I live in the Tampa Bay area, so my power's out. I didn't have access to the internet. I had to do some business travel, so uh, it was one of the first games I played in quite a long time. So I decided to go and jump into 34 defense. Um, basically. Hit this guy with a blitz because uh, I was under the assumption this guy was going to be uh, essentially a you know a run first person and those are like one of the hardest people to play. So I've got the blitz set up. I've got quarters um, on the back side. It's all dropped. So if he tries to go over the top of me, I'm going to have defenders over there. And I just want to get pressure off the edges against this guy, make a quick decision. And if he just tries to run, I've got run fits uh, you know down here. So the run play is going to get taken care of. Um, I use it in the middle of the field. You can see this guy coming in, but look at the look at the route concept. This guy, this guy's running once again another stock play. He's got an out. Um, I think this is uh, basically just kind of a sail curl route, and he's got a drag underneath it, and then he's got a, a dig over the top. And he pretty much because of this blitz, he's got this area right here that he can throw. He's also got the flat over here, and then he's got me. I have to defend the any guys over the middle of the field, so that's my responsibility. But the, the key to Playing against anybody that runs uh, the nickel, you know, the uh, 34 odd type defense with his heavy blitzes to attack the flats as much as possible. And you can see right there, he actually does that. He catches me off guard. Uh, and as a result, he picks up a big chunk of yards right there. So now I'm like, okay, this guy, uh, he knows what to do. He makes pretty good adjustments. A couple different plays, right? Here, uh, you know, three three different plays, right, you know, right there. Or two different plays right there that he's, he's made pretty good adjustments. He comes out of the empty set. So anytime I come on an empty set, I like to go with dime packages. Um, I like to do you know either the three two or the two three, um, or uh, basically the uh, the other defense would just be a basic dime package. But I like to do a lot of cover to sink type coverage. So I go ahead and find um, the one uh, defense which essentially is going to be the cover to sink, and um, this is a good defense to go and jump into because it does carry, it takes away kind of get vertical routes. I press my guys down. I'm saying, okay, you know, I'm not going to give this guy like any kind of free stuff under, uh, underneath. And I'm just going to go ahead and play in the middle of the field. I've got a mid read that's going to come play in the middle of the field for me. I've got a deep zone, deep zone. And these guys will carry. These guys will carry soft squats. And I've got some zones over the middle of the field. So uh, all I'm really doing is trying to protect anything that crosses over the middle field. And he's got an Ohio concept over here. So he's got basically a quick out. And then he has uh, basically a, a, a fly pattern. Uh, and then over here, I think he's got another fly. And then he's got essentially a whip route. And he's got an up and go route. This is a quick, he quick snap display. Didn't make any kind of adjustments to it. 
I'm thinking the middle of the field, so I'm really looking for anybody coming over to the middle field. This 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 wide receiver goes this side, so I'm just gonna I'm not gonna think about. It. I'm gonna look for the, somebody coming back for the three three reps uh, three rep side of the wide receiver side. So right here, you can see this guy coming down, and you watch me coming down, um, actually trying to take away that passing lane. I come down and bite. He actually does have leverage, but he chooses to run with his quarterback, and <laughs> he just outruns my guys. That's one of the good things about Josh Allen as a quarterback and using him as a team is that Josh Allen has just got he's got really good running potentials and stuff like that. So um, I'm back into cover six again. Uh, I shift my line over with the anticipation that he might go ahead and run the ball, but this guy was just quick snapping uh, plays really quick. I brought my guys. I brought my one guy down here because he's got three wide receivers over here. He's got two over here. And my responsibility is to kind of like, if he, if he doesn't throw the ball, I need to fill back this gap right here because that's going to be out leverage. But what he did at the snap of the ball is something I never really see anybody use um, online. It's just not a very common play. Something I have done, but it's just a simple flat curl concept. So really simple flat curl concept. You can see the flat gets cleared out, and he's got matching principles, and he just hits the curl in the back of the end zone. So... That was just a really good decision. That's just uh, really, really smart to do that. I don't see people run flat, you know, curl concepts. That's something I've done before in the past. I don't really have it really. I have more of like flat, deep comeback concepts. But to see someone use something that you've used before, is, you're kind of like, wow, that's that's smart. I'm pretty smart because you're using stuff that I've done too. So right here, um, actually, um, I think I turned the ball over against my, uh, against my opponent. So I'm kind of in a bind right now. Once again, he's got three wide receivers. He's got a single wide receiver, basically two wide receivers over here. I, I think I, what I did is I shifted the line over to take away any kind of run. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to man up this guy. I'm going to play down to the box and just look for anybody coming over uh, uh, deep over the middle. And that's my responsibility where I'm actually playing right here. So you can see how I bring things down. Another thing I did too is I took a flat defender and shifted this guy out on the flat. So uh, if he decides to go and hit a flat route, I'm going to have another defender out there. He motions the guy over. Right now, it should be checking out of this play. It should be checking into, like, Palms' uh, defense more than anything else and, and clicking on this middle linebacker uh, because he motions the guys over. But I actually left the defense as is. You can see I flipped, uh, I basically picked up on this guy right here. Uh, so I have the same defense, but the difference is now I've actually... I've I clicked onto this guy because I, I, I need this guy to go vertical if he goes with it. Uh, but I should have probably jumped in Palms coverage. Palms coverage is a little bit more of a sounder defense against a, a double set. He does basically kind of a, a switch play right here where he's got a flat or a running back underneath here. Uh, it's his own play. And you can see I try to cut down in there and it actually hits me. So this guy was sprinkling in the run. Uh, he was picking up good chunks of yards, so why this guy wouldn't run more? This this he would have won this game um, if uh, if he really would have dominated him if he would stay with the run. But he kept he tried sprinkling in the pass too, and um, I was not I was not catching this guy in the backfield, so I wasn't forcing him out of a run play. I wasn't forcing him to pass play. So sub the defense again. He actually shows shows me the same play. So I guess he's trying to build off of that run concept right here and. Uh, He's got two streaking routes. He's got a crossing route over the side, and then he has this other route crossing over the middle field. So um, I've got man matching principles. These guys are all carrying. Um, I've got this guy covered up. I've got this guy covered up. I've got a flat defender out here. He actually rolls out. He's got no one out in this area. But you can see he's trying to get to this guy right here. He's trying to hit this corner route on the back side. So I think I sent the spy in this type of situation. You see this guy's coming down as a spy. But look what's going on with this defender. This defender is sitting in his own. He sees work and he starts floating back up into this into this passing lane. He throws it. I clicked on and I'm able to go ahead and pick him off, which you know it's just rare. You if you guys have been watching my gameplay, you rarely see me click on to get interceptions. But I was able to go ahead and just tag this guy for interception, um, and that was a huge play right there because I could have been down by two possessions, but because I got that one stop, I was able to go ahead and tie the game up, uh, basically 7-7, and make a game out of it. So he comes out of the gun, uh, empty chips. Now, I do want to point something out. Look at the time. Uh, basically, it is <clears throat> 14 seconds left, 
Um, I'm just trying not to give up a field goal. Um, I've got this guy down at 30. I go into man coverages uh, just so I don't. I get my. I got defenders in the areas, and he actually throws underneath my defenders and gets the ball down to the 50-yard line. Takes a timeout. He's got six seconds left, so <clears throat> he can get the ball in the. He can get into field goal range just with a quick little play. So I just decided to go ahead and stay with uh, basically cover two man. The problem with me is that I have my baseline um, offense. Of gets, it's base to line. And as a result, with man defense, what if you, if you don't do man align with this cover two uh, man, if you don't man align, you will give up streak plays because the, the defenders won't, won't necessarily play them correctly. So I've got these guys base line. They should be down pressed if they were man aligned down in the box you can see these these uh, defensive backs are kind of like a little bit more center they're not out there correctly so I actually go ahead and make sure I do the QB contain I'm gonna play over the middle of the field and hope I don't give anything up over the over the top right here you can see he's making some type of an audible in this type of situation motion this guy's over and look what happens this guy kinda of sits on an island and this lob streak becomes available and he just knows exactly where he's going to go with the ball. And my guy, my defensive back does not play it correctly. Knocks off my other defensive back. And I give up the cheapest touchdown ever. This has happened to me before. But it, the problem is that I run a baseline defense. And I should have been playing like a cover four coverage. And never ran uh, a cover two man. But, you know, cover two man is usually a pretty solid defense to run. When you only have a couple plays left in a game or in a half. Uh, but he's able to go ahead and get a touchdown against me which would have been a situation where I had an opportunity to go up by a score. So right here, um, I'm, I'm a little bit behind the eight ball. I'm chewing the clock down. I'm trying to I'm trying to not give this guy any time whatsoever. He actually uh, gets a situation where I just make a huge, terrible read. Um, and basically, he, he's got cloud coverage out there that takes away my deep comeback route. I just make a bad choice, and he actually goes ahead and picks six as me for uh, a two-score possession with essentially two minutes and you know uh, seconds left. So I'm able to go ahead and score down there fairly quickly against him, but I, I've got basically two minutes and 52 seconds against him. So he comes out in a heavy set. Um, I go into basically the 34-odd uh, defense. Uh, I don't do any. I don't do any kind of pressure, but I like to have those fronts. I've got basically safeties are going to come down and play, and you can see. We've got contain right here. I've got two guys right here. This should be locked up for maybe two yards. But he cuts it back, bounces off a defender, and picks up a few yards. So it was a situation where he didn't have any running lanes, but he got basically six yards out of something that should have been only two. Uh, so I, I see the cover four, or cover four quarters, so I'm thinking, okay, i got to get out of this defense. I'm going to do the 34, uh, you know, 335 penny defense just because it's got a, a really good menacing front you got the defensive back in the corner but it's still going to give me the option of different types of coverages so i stay in, in uh, the penny front and i'm actually going to go ahead and jump into cover six that's just my basic defense i go ahead and typically use i'm going to shift my line over right here and i'm going to go ahead and drop down into this box because i've got run fits but these other guys are here and then the other run fits now uh, i want to make sure my defense is fairly sound so I'm going to go ahead and um, set up my backside defender. I'm going to put him on uh, basically a man assignment. And the reason I want to do that is I want this guy to go ahead and, and, and follow him everywhere he goes. And once again, my responsibility is to come down and play the box. Um, this defense basically had these guys set up, and I think this is a cover, uh, a cover six Willie was essentially the version of the defense that I was running on. So I want to just jump down to the box. I've got run fits. I don't have a run fit over here, but I, that's why I shifted my line off. He goes into play action play. I come down and bite, but I then I realize that he's doing play action. I start pulling myself out. This guy's actually trailing right here. I've got another guy right here that's trailing. I got this guy manned up on the back side. My responsibility is going to be this guy crossing over the middle of the field. And you could see that's what he's looking at, and he threw it right to us. There's two defenders in that area. Bonehead read, totally bad decision by him, and as a result, I'm able to go to get an interception against this guy with basically two minutes left in the game. I'm going to chew the clock down as much as possible against this guy, make him really, uh, you know, uh, 
feel that pain. Uh, so I bas basically milked it as much as possible. I'm able to go and hit this guy in the back of the back of the end zone with basically seven seconds left. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, this is a game that I basically just stole away from him. I, I don't want to get in a situation where I'm going to let this guy score again. So I jump into uh, this little money play that I've, I've, I've got out of this uh, spread playbook. And it's so easy to run this. This little uh, trail route on the outside is always money. You always get an easy two-point conversion. And what's one of the cool things about using a two-point conversion play, you want to hold on to it until the end of the game. But I was able to go ahead and get a victory against this guy, basically down by two scores with, you know, three minutes left in the game. And I was able to pick up a victory. So, guys, I wanted to show this gameplay to you just to kind of see some of the defensive adjustments. This is pretty sloppy for me. Uh, but for the most part, um, you know, it's just like you, you want to stick in those games when you can. So, well, thanks again for your support. Until next time.